Technology has driven our world to a drastic state of vulnerability. With the proliferation of government and corporate surveillance, personal information is targeted and tracked with unimaginable reach. But in this age of rapidly eroding privacy, there are some who have dedicated themselves to the effacement of the digital self. They are the self-appointed guardians of internet morality, executing aggressive campaigns for social justice by the power of the crowd. They are a screaming cry for reform to the complacent, and a flaming light of revelation to the covert. While they demand transparency of government and corporate institutions, they themselves remain hidden in the shadows of the cyber world. Utilizing the digital screen as a mask, they possess an unbridled authority and instant escape from jeopardy. They possess anonymity. We are anonymous. We are legion. Anonymous has no who. It exists not as a group, but a movement, aspiring to the most honest definition of a leaderless organization. Renouncing all individual recognition, Anonymous promotes the anti-celebrity with strict devotion only to its ideology. Allowing anyone to call its name, Anonymous is dynamic in its portrayal. This is their strength, and this is their fault. The actions of Anonymous fall between the cracks of cyber warfare and political advocacy, manifesting as unstoppable cyber infiltrations with intent to dissuade and cripple targeted organizations. Anonymous thrives in the era of hacktivism. Riding the line between rational and reckless, legal and illegal, these acts of cyber vandalism often expose where authority falls short and fails to act. Anonymous is reactive and adaptable, riding the wings of current events with vigilance and poised strike. Anonymous is more powerful and relevant than ever. For this force, the voice of none is stronger than the voice of one. We do not